Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write an equation in slope-intercept form from two points. Let's jump into number one, where we are given two points on a line, 5, 4, and 10, 6. So our line goes through those two points. We need to use those two points to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Now this may seem confusing at first, but after our examples, this is going to make more sense. We're going to use the three steps off to the side. Our first step, we need to find the slope of our line. Remember, slope equals rise over run, the vertical change over the horizontal change. When given two points, we can use this formula right here to find the slope of the line. So slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we are using the x and y coordinates of our points. y2 minus y1 gives us the rise and x2 minus x1 gives us the run. 5, 4 is going to be our first point and 10, 6 is going to be our second point. For our first point, 5, 4, 5 is our x coordinate. So this is going to be x1. 4 is our y coordinate. So 4 is going to be y1. And it is helpful to label these like we are right now. Our second point, 10, 6, 10 is our x coordinate. So 10 is x2. 6 is our y coordinate, so 6 is y2. Now all we need to do is plug those in to find our slope. So slope equals, and I'll use m for slope here, y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 4 over x2 minus x1, so 10 minus 5. 6 minus 4, gives us two, and 10 minus five gives us five. So the slope of our line here is two fifths. Now we can move on to step two. We need to find the y-intercept. We use that slope and then one of our points to figure out the y-intercept. Remember, for slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So I'm actually going to write that out off to the side here. So y equals mx plus b. Remember, m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, and then x and y are the coordinates of any point on the line. So we need to plug in two-fifths for m, and then we need to use a point on the line and use those coordinates for x and y. We're going to use 5, 4. Now it does not matter which point we use. We can use 10, 6. We just need to pick one. So again, we're going to use 5, 4. So what we do, we plug in 4 for y, our y coordinate, so 4 equals, then we plug in two-fifths, our slope for m, so two-fifths times x, which is five, our x-coordinate from our point, so plug in five, plus b. b is what we're solving for. We're looking to solve for that y-intercept. The first thing that we need to do here is multiply. We need to do two-fifths times five. Now let's come to the top here and multiply. So we have two fifths times five. And I'm writing five in fractional form since when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So we need to do two times five, which is 10 over five times one, which is five. So we end up with 10 fifths, which is an improper fraction that we can simplify here and do 10 divided by five, that gives us two. So two fifths times five is two. So we have two plus B equals, and then on the left side, we have four. 
So now we need to isolate B here. We are adding two to B. So in order to undo that, we need to do the opposite, which is subtraction. So let's subtract two from the right side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So subtract two from the left side as well. The twos on the right cancel each other out. So B is now isolated, B equals. And then on the left, we have four minus two, which gives us two. So B equals two, that's our Y intercept. This line crosses the Y axis at two, at zero, two. So now we have our slope from step one and our Y intercept from step two. That's everything we need for our equation. So now for step three, we write our equation. We plug in the slope and Y intercept. So we have Y equals, and then we plug in two fifths for M, our slope, X plus our Y intercept of two. And this is our equation. And that's it, we are done. All this basically boils down to, and this is how I like to remember it, is slope and solve. So we find the slope and then solve for the Y intercept. Then we are good to go to write our equation. Now our three steps off to the side, those are a little more detailed, but thinking slope and solve can give us a good starting point as far as thinking through these problems. Let's move on to number two. Moving on to number two here, our two points that our line goes through. First point, negative two, one. Second point, one, negative eight. Let's start by finding the slope. So our first point, negative two, one, negative two is x1, and then one is y1. Then our second point, one negative eight, one is x2, and negative eight is y2. So m equals, and then we have y2, which is negative eight, minus y1, which is one, over x2, which is one minus x1, which is negative two. Now we subtract here, so we have negative eight minus one. And remember, whenever we have subtraction problems involving negatives, it can help to add the opposite. That's going to give us the same thing as subtraction. So for negative eight minus one, let's add the opposite here. So we end up with negative eight plus negative one, that gives us negative nine over, and now we have one minus negative two. Let's add the opposite here. And we end up with one plus two. That gives us three. So we have a slope of negative nine thirds, negative nine over three, which we can simplify. And we need to do negative nine divided by three. That gives us negative three, and that's our slope. Now we need to use that slope to find the Y intercept. So moving on to step two, let's use that slope and one of our points. Let's use negative two, one. So we have Y equals MX plus B. So let's plug in now and we'll start with our Y coordinate of one. So plug in one for Y equals MX, so our slope, of negative three times our X coordinate of negative two plus B. So we need to solve for B here. And the first thing that we need to do is negative three times negative two. A negative times a negative gives us a positive. So this gives us a positive six. So six plus B equals, and then we have one on the left side. Now we need to isolate B. Six is being added to B. So let's subtract six, subtract a positive six. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So subtract six from the left side as well. The sixes on the right cancel each other out. B is now isolated. 
equals, and then we have one minus six on the left side of the equation. One minus six gives us negative five. So our y-intercept is negative five. Our line crosses the y-axis at negative five. And now we have all the information we need to write our equation. So y equals our slope of negative three x plus our y-intercept of negative five. Now this equation is correct, but we're actually going to simplify it so we don't have that double sign, the addition and then the negative. So we can rewrite this using subtraction. Y equals negative three X minus five. Now, a lot of times we will see slope intercept form simplified to show a negative Y intercept as subtraction. So something to keep in mind. So this equation will work right here where we add negative five, or we can simplify that and rewrite it as subtraction. So either of these equations will work. So there you have it. There's how to write an equation in slope intercept form from two points. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.